before y'all start going on me about the title. I'm not going liberal. It's just this video right here, literally, literally, I want to just rip my eyeballs out. Like, I can't believe a conservative, the I'm conservative. I can't believe somebody else like me said what they said. <laughs> y'all not even ready for this one. If y'all don't know, uh, if y'all have not seen this video, this video is literally blowing up right now. I think got like over 900K maybe. Uh, I haven't really seen too many people like talk about the video. I found out about the video my dang self. So you feel me? I haven't heard nobody really speak about the video, but dog, this video is literally blowing up right now, man. It's blowing up, okay? So basically, I was watching the video. Now, if y'all want me to watch the whole thing, it's 24 minutes long. I can make a separate video watching the entire thing, or y'all can watch it yourself. It don't matter. I'll leave it in the link description box below. But basically, I was watching the video, right? And I skipped to the perfect part that I wanted to talk about. Now, we've been going ahead and talk about this. Uh, and I just want y'all to pay attention to the guy right here. All right. This, 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 this is the this is the idiot. These kids, these are liberal teens versus conservative parents. These are the parents. These are the kids. Now, no, they're not related, but this guy right here. Oh, my gosh. Dog. Bro. My God. The liberal teens knew more than he did. It, it was ridiculous. I was, I was rooting for you. Not because you're black. Maybe it was just part of it, but I was rooting for you. I was rooting for you, my brother. And you said the dumbest thing I've ever heard anybody say okay let me think go ahead and get into it i'm not go i'm not gonna waste no more time hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications um and by the way uh, hey your boy camera finna die okay your boy camera finna die so it might cut out but don't worry about it don't worry about it go get right back to it you feel me that y'all don't even need to know that but anyways hit the like button subscribe turn on post notifications follow your boy on all social media platforms down below without further ado let's get it let's go man oh jeez. people today are too sensitive So I think it's a good thing that young people are sensitive. I think today they can be more sensitive than what they probably could have been 30 or 40 years ago. You know, the growing up was the Berlin crisis, the Cuban Missile Crisis. I mean, we had the threat of annihilation, you know, staring at us several times. And a lot of times I go, you know, thank God John Kennedy handled it. The country has been spoiled for so long. They're trying to make it so a man can't be a man. And Facts. if you don't let men be men, then things start crumbling. Society crumbles, families crumble, and broken homes start happening. And kids need their fathers. So 36% of kids don't have a father. So every boy is, well, my mom is mad at me. My dad don't love me. My dad don't care about me. Maybe I should be gay. Maybe I should be trans. I don't know who I am. And your father puts confidence in you. No disrespect to anybody, but the younger generation of men are soft. And if we had to go to war, they're not protecting America. There's no better place to be as a, as a black individual or whatever you are in America. Go to the Middle East right now and say you, you gay or you trans and see how they treat you. Johnny, I'm 32 years old and I am a conservative parent. My grandfather was in a dumb conservative parent. You forgot to mention the dumb part. You forgot to mention that, but okay, let's let's finish. I'm trying not to pause it too much, you know what I'm saying? Because I want y'all to really listen to it, and we just go break it down from what he just said to what he's finna say, okay? Just, just bear with me. A no on. excuse individual. He grew up in the Jim Crow South, but he worked hard. The, the house that he bought is still in our family today. He had a garden in his backyard. If you step past a certain why, he got on you. So to watch the men before me who really could have been lynched for stepping out of line, who really could have went through a hardship for not doing what society said. The worst thing that can happen to me is I get a, a mean tweet or a dislike. So I got to fully embrace who I am. A mean tweet, my... All right, come on. Go, go, go. I know I can create anything with my two hands and feet. This is Webflow Interactions, the only tool that brings all the animation power of CSS and JavaScript. I'm Hannah, I'm 17 and I'm a liberal. I really want equality for all, and the liberal um, policies that have been passed side more with my values of equality for those who are on the LGBTQ, those who are on the gender spectrum. Something about conservative parents that I don't like is whenever I come across them, they seem to be very rooted in their ways and not willing to listen to someone who's a teenager like me. They think more like, oh, because I'm older, I have more knowledge, which is not necessarily always the case. Can we have the Disabria step forward? 
That's facts. I hate to agree with it, but that's facts. That's facts. And I think that's a lot of people think they feel like just because they older than the person, they got more knowledge. But you could say, you could tell me all day long that, oh, I've been on this earth for 30 years, so I know more than you. I do. do, do. At the end of the day, a team can have more knowledge than you have. You feel me? You could be 30 years old with less knowledge. Like, like this guy right here, you know what I'm saying? Half of the, these teams are smarter than him and knew more about, more than he knew. And he's almost, he's, almost in his 30s or he probably is in his 30s you see what i'm saying so she's she's right i i will literally hate to agree but she's she's right bro and i'm not being biased this video if somebody's right if a if a, the liberal team is right uh if the liberal team is right they're right you feel me if the conservative parent is wrong they're wrong if they're right they're right i'm not being biased this idea that because men are being raised by women that they're weaker is in my opinion completely false our generation it's not more sensitive we're more aware of all these things being transgender and gay is not something that is should be ashamed of or make you feel less in today's society that is why women are fighting for equality because this idea that because they only have a mom they're weaker or because you know they're more sensitive that's in my opinion, completely false. And I would say, and that is completely false because y'all know why? Because bro, I grew up with just my mother. You feel me? I didn't have my father, but I seem more successful without my father than if I would have had it in my life. You see what I'm saying? That's that's what I'm just saying. Like, I feel like that whole entire thing, like, oh, men are way more softer because they're just raised by their by their mother. Because yeah, it is true that a mother can teach a man how to be a man. You feel me? Or a mother can't teach their little boy how to be a man. That's the father's job. You feel me? But at the end of the day, that doesn't make that boy or that man, that boy that's going to become a man weaker. A lot of young men are just raised by their mothers. You feel me? But they grow up to be the best man they could possibly be. They know how to treat women. It seems like more men that it seems like more fathers that's in man's life. I'm, and this is just my opinion. It seems like they tend to not know how to treat a woman right. They tend to cheat. They tend to do things that's, that women technically just do not like. You feel me? But when a man is raised by their mother like I was, I tend to know how to treat a woman. You feel me? Don't just because I'm just because I'm a little clingy or I'm a uh, or I'm a mother's boy doesn't make me soft because let you come across me wrong, it's gonna get real wicked in here. You heard me? You know what I'm saying? I, but I'm gonna let the Holy Spirit take over. You feel me? But I'm just saying that doesn't make a man weak because they're raised by their mother. Say in the environment that I grew up in, the teen pregnancies come from girls without fathers. The homicides come from people without fathers. Every girl that I know, if they grow up with a daddy, they get married before they have a kid. Why do they not have fathers? If you want me to be real, because a lot of women make bad choices on the men they procreate with. If you make a bad choice, that's your responsibility. Every I ain't never heard no dumpst- Look, I'm moving a mic, bro. Oh my God. Ah, uh, this is- Bro, I can't believe he just said what he said. I, I'm, st I'm still stuck on the fact that he really just blamed it on women, though. That- No, this isn't like- From the beginning of this video, from the beginning of the video that we're, that we're watching right now, from the beginning, I promise you, it was already BS from the start. I mean, if y'all heard what he even said in the beginning of the video, like I said, if y'all want me to react to the entire thing, I will literally do a reaction to this entire 24 minutes and 44 seconds video. The beginning was already BS. And then now he's saying this. It's the women's fault. It's the women's choices. What? Bro. I, oh, we go play this one more time. My opinion completely false and i would say in the environment that i grew up in the teen pregnancies come from girls without fathers the homicides come from people without fathers every girl that i know if they grow up with a daddy they get married before they have a kid why do they not have fathers if you want me to be real because a lot of women make bad choices on the men they procreate with if you make a bad choice all the women make bad choices the women it's the women's fault let me tell you like this so basically what i'm hearing is basically he's he's saying the the reason why 
a lot of fathers are not in the children's life. It's simply because it's the women's fault because of the women dealing with the father, I'm assuming. Like, basically, like, okay, let's say a father is already a bad person to start with, and the women end up sleeping with him, having a baby with him, but she knew that he was a bad person to start with. So it's her fault that she slept with him, had a baby with him, and it's her fault that he's the re that that he left. That's what I'm hearing. Y'all, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? If I'm if I'm wrong, please correct me. But if that's what I'm hearing, bro, that is absolutely incorrect. That's absolutely incorrect. It's never a woman's fault for the reason why the father of her child left. It's never the reason. Unless it's something, unless it's something like, oh, uh, she cheated on him and now she don't know who the real father is. So, you know, now that he's upset, so now he leaves. That okay, that's understandable. But if a woman sleeps with a guy, right? Okay, and it takes two to make a baby. It takes two to make a baby. Now, first of all, it can never be a woman's fault that the baby got put inside her. It can never be her fault unless she actually intentionally traps the man. But if she doesn't trap the man, how could it possibly be her fault that she had a baby with this man? You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's the man, the man's, it's the man's responsibility to know if he's not using protection to go ahead and huh. He, you, know, you gotta, you gotta pull out. Okay, I'm trying to keep it PG-13. PG is possible. PG-13 is possible. That's what I'm trying to keep it like. But y'all get what I'm trying to say. So I'm confused on how it's the woman's fault. You feel me? How is it the woman's fault? You know what I'm saying? Technically, it could. Technically, it's always the man's fault for the reason why. Or not. I won't say always, but nine times out of ten, it's the man's fault on why he left the baby with the mother. You feel me? That that I hope this is all making sense, but for him to blame it on women, that's incorrect, bro. You cannot blame the ex the non existent fathers on women. It's the women's fault. How, bro? How? That's your responsibility. Every bad thing that I did in my life, it was when my daddy was in jail. When my dad was out and I had my dad's reassurance, I was a better person. I had one dog. But that's false though. That's what I'm trying to bro, that's not for everybody. That's not for everybody. That's not for everybody, bro. It's not. Nine times out of ten, a woman, uh, a woman that has, okay, let's say a teen pregnancy. How he mentioned teen pregnancy. Okay, teen pregnancy. That's a good example right there. Teen pregnancy, just because a daughter or a son or daughter gets pregnant at a young age doesn't mean it's because the exit of her father, because her father wasn't there. That does not mean that at all. Parents teach their kids to use protection at a young age. I believe I got that. I got taught that at what? Probably 14, maybe 13. You know, when I feel like you should get taught that when you're able and when you start to go through puberty and you start to form as a woman, you feel me? Or even as a man, you know, things start to get hard and you, you feel me? I don't want to go into too, too much examples, but I feel like you should start learning that. And I guarantee a lot of parents done taught their kids that. So technically it's the teens fault because teens know exactly what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? They've been taught to use protection. Even if they didn't get taught that, they still know what a condom is. They still know that it can, it, it's not going to always protect you, but it could protect you in that, in that aspect, in that stance at that moment. You feel me? So not everybody that has a father or not everybody who father is not in their life becomes sensitive or becomes the best they possibly could be. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes when a father not in your life, you become better without your father than you, than if you had him in your life. You feel me? Me personally, I feel like I'm doing great without my father in my life. Now my father has passed away, but before he even passed away, he wasn't in my life. So therefore, I feel like I became a nice young fellow man without my father in my life. You know, I don't have father figures, but at the same time, I was raised with my mother literally from in high to in high. You know what I'm saying? So you can't make that point. You cannot make that point, bro. That's invalid. If you make a bad choice, that's your responsibility. Every bad thing that I did in my life, it was when my daddy was in jail. When my dad was out and I had my dad's reassurance, I was a better person. I had one daughter that had to move across the country to get rid of a toxic relationship with somebody that was harming them. Why does the woman have to move across the country because the man is being toxic? Why can't the man be taught don't be toxic. Oh, I agree. Women nowadays have to deal with those kinds of relationships 
the women, the mother knows better, I would say, than the father about that. We're not more sensitive. There's just more opportunities for us to be sensitive. Yeah. You can say like 15, 20 years ago, there weren't videos of black. Bro, he looks, he looks salty. Cause he, cause he knows he's wrong. He knows that they are right and he is wrong. Look how his fuss look. Look at him, look at him. He looks salty. Salty, I would hate to, yes. Conservative versus liberal, you know, that's not even really argument. Like if the liberal people is right, bro, I will give them they just and okay, like they okay, they correct on this aspect, they correct on this aspect. But man, I was on the conservative side thinking like, oh man, I know my people, they got it, they got it all figured out. We got it all together. Apparently not. This one young fella, man, don't have nothing to figure out. Black men being shot by police all over the internet. Now that that's there, people are more inclined to feel a certain way or take a stance on that topic. Do you think it would be more beneficial to show police also interacting with white guys? Because more white guys get killed than black guys by cops. If you look at the amount of white people and the amount of black people, there are going to be more white people killed because there are more white people in America. The percentage of black people that are being killed is higher than the percentage of white people. Well, just because you're pulled over doesn't mean you have to resist. I mean, they don't just kill you when they pull you over. It's all about based on how you perform as an individual. I've been pulled over and never had a bad interaction in my life. When I was rude, I got snatched out the car. Everything is a personal choice. and you can't take accountability for your life, then you will forever be a slave. That's not true. There are definitely issues on the side of policing. Black communities, majority of black communities, majority POC communities are over-policed. There's larger patrols in black communities. There are police work longer hours in uh, majority black communities. So there's an issue from the policing side as well. Politics. Okay, had to calm down a little bit. Um. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this. First off, I it's a lot of different things that they had going on. You know what I'm saying? Now, I did agree with him when he did say that certain pull. You know, like it depends on how you react as an individual. The circumstance that will happen if you act that way. If that makes sense, you feel me? So like, if you was to if you was to act all rude and all like. You trying to buff up, you trying to do this with the police, you feel me? You you acting like you you just doing too much. Of course, they're gonna tell you get out the car, step out the car, and things might escalate. But if you act normal, you just say, all right, officer, here you go with the wool, and y'all both, if you just cooperating and you just doing what they say and you you might go along free. And then sometimes if you even get caught with something illegal, like okay, let's say you have weed on you, you feel me? And it's over the amount that she's supposed to have in the car. If you cooperate in police, being honest with them, sometimes the police is just be like, all right, man, I'm going to give you a warning, bro. I'm going to take this off you, but I'm going to give you a warning. So it's just how you react. So I do agree with him on that. But saying, but the whole point of the video that I wanted to just make was just saying like, bro, saying that it's the women's fault, the reason why it's so many fathers not in the children's life, that's invalid, bro. That is so invalid. That is so invited. We are human beings. We are not slaves to anything. The women, they didn't, they didn't do nothing so they didn't do nothing so bad that made a man leave their child. And like I said, it's like I said, it's like, okay, if they cheat or they do something like that, that's a different story. But I'm speaking on just because she slept with that man, and maybe she did know, and maybe she didn't know that he was a bad guy, but she didn't know that he was gonna be a deadbeat father. Because technically, it's a lot of dudes out here that could be bad, that could be bad people. That could be like you just don't like this person. But at the same time, they could be the most loving father ever because that's their seed. You know what I'm saying? That's their seed. So it's it, it has to be the man's fault on why they left. It can't always be women this, women that, women this. But um, anyways, man, I'm gonna get off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Uh look, I'm gonna let you look, I'm gonna say this. If y'all want, like I said, if y'all want me to, I will react to this entire video. I might just do it just because. Like, they got some crazy topics they was talking about, some crazy opinions, some crazy different everything. So, I'm going to react to the whole video if y'all want me to. You feel me? Because it is 24 minutes and 44 seconds. It might end up to an hour messing with me. You feel me? So, uh, without further ado, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, The Pan. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.